Hello everyone, Zach Jones here at the Largo Kettering Library Branch, Project Manager for Career Kickstart, here to give you another edition of Career Kickstart Quick Tips. So at this point, I feel we've gained some serious traction on our journey to career success. So in this edition, I wanna give you some tips on how to attack the job search. Hopefully with these tips I provide, you can develop your own approach to having success and searching for a job. So, First and foremost, what we all know now is that our no, our new normal is here and it's just everything that we are used to seeing in one way is just changing. Adaptation is key. So this is why first we had to mentally prepare ourselves to get into the game and to stay in the game. With everything going on, we want to make sure that we're ready for the changes that come with navigating the job market. We want to have our confident cover letters to give a very strong introduction of who we are and what character traits we plan to bring to the employer. This piece of your career profile along with your pandemic proof resume that represents your skill sets in the best way possible, that's all you need. So make sure when you're looking for these jobs, your skills and qualifications mesh and adapt with how employers are now doing business moving forward. One of the first tips moving forward is research which employers and industries are actively hiring during this time. While there's been furloughs and layoffs, I want you all to remember that HR departments have a mission as well. There are companies that are actively recruiting to deal with the challenges moving forward with the economy. So make sure you're adapting in that sense and understanding the needs in the pos of a position to make sure that your career profile is aligning. So actively read the job posting also, go onto the company's website and get an idea of what type of employees they desire. This can be achieved by reading the mission statement and finding out what kind of work they have done. Pay attention to community interaction also, and even look at the financial health of the company. These are all factors you should take into account now in this new normal that we have. A site like Glassdoor can provide you this type of information as well as reviews from those currently and previously hired by the company that you're for. So my next tip in attacking the job search is going on job posting sites and creating a profile. If visiting a site that you have previously been on before, make sure that your profile is up to date. Make sure that your profile reflects your newly crafted resume, cover letter, and highlights your skills. Look for opportunities that fit your profile. And one way to do such is to sign up for updates on job openings that match your profile. But also be mindful though, that these job alerts may also not reflect the most recent or available positions. So going directly to the hiring company's website is ideal. Also be mindful to monitor the email that you use to receive these alerts and notifications. If this is the same address that you're planning to use to receive response from potential employers, you may wanna keep that channel clear so you don't miss the opportunities. Because, you know, sometimes those responses can get mixed in with the notifications. Along with making sure the channel is open for communication, also allow yourself to be a filter of the jobs coming in. You know, make sure that these are legit employers and don't overturn information that's not required if you don't feel comfortable. There's a lot of things going on and a lot of scams also going on. So be mindful. Protect your personal information before anything else. So, with the foundational work and research done, my next step is apply. I think we should all feel comfortable in putting our best foot forward and we should just be ready to get right to it. Importantly, make sure you're submitting your applications in a timely manner. This is not saying hurry up and submit, but make sure you're submitting in quality, but in a timely fashion. Remember, you're competing against other applicants and the sooner your application is seen, the better your chances. So double check everything before your submission and above anything, make sure grammatical errors are taken care of. In conjunction with this, pay attention to the instructions within the job post. There may be an order as how they may want the application submitted. These are subtle vetting processes. So make sure you're not taken out of the game before we even start. I wanna remind you that 
every step of the process moving forward is to ensure that the employer gets the most qualified applicants. So for you and yourself in this process, paying attention to detail is important. If hired, paying attention to details and following instructions are going to be an important part of any job. A good tip also to protect yourself would be, for example, to remove your address from your resume or cover letter. This not only protects your privacy and identity, but also if you're applying for a company or a job that may require relocation, for example, you don't want a company to take you out of the game because they know that you don't live in that general area right now because you might be planning to move to where that dream job is. Um, re relocation is always up for no negotiation, so don't let that be a factor that they use to disqualify you. Now, with your pandemic-proof resume and confident cover letter, a good tip moving forward on job sites is to create a system. So I would say set daily or weekly goals with your application process. For example, a weekly goal could be generating a cover letter for a specific position, having it edited and submitting an application packet with the resume by the end of the business day on a Friday of the week. So set a realistic and manageable goal for yourself in your application process. Don't try and overwhelm yourself and make it a list or, you know, quota type situation where you're trying to fill as many applications per day. You want to do quality submissions and you want the right submissions. Along with setting a goal, monitor and manage your time. Make sure you make time for them networking opportunities and skill refinement. One simple way to achieve both is through LinkedIn and lynda.com, which we offer here at our library system. These sites in conjunction can allow you to create a profile, search for job openings, communicate with other professionals, and with lynda.com, that provides you the technical training and certifications in particular subject fields like Microsoft Office and design. Last but not least, self-care. Self-care is important. This is a stressful time for everyone. So make sure you take the time to make sure your personal health is up to par as well. Being physically sharp is to be mentally sharp. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're all willing to take these tips and add them with the determination to attack the job search and the application process with confidence. And remember that no dream comes true until you wake up and go to work. In your search to find the right company or organization to support your dreams and aspirations, I wish you all success in becoming an impact in the workforce. So stay safe and stay healthy.